Jesus Lopez, and this is my neighborhood essay, and the title is Virtual Neighborhood. The first picture is of my house, and the caption is home, where you can still feel alone. I don't know much about my neighborhood. I'm always inside, oblivious to everything happening outside. I have vague memories of where I used to live before moving to my current home. The thing that stood out the most was some kind of game where everyone would throw acorns or something that looked like it at each other, young kids, teens, and I think that the adults would all participate. Uh, we moved after I finished kindergarten from apartments on South Birch Street to my house, to a house on 6th Street. My parents were pretty overprotective. They never really let me or my siblings play outside. We were always inside watching TV or playing video games. My neighborhood was pretty dangerous when I was younger. Drug dealing neighbors and some shootings. At least that's what everybody said. Now it's a lot calmer, except for the fireworks. People are always setting off fireworks year-round. The next picture is of my old TV, and the caption is Teacher, Babysitter, Friend. And uh, I learned to speak English by watching TV, Sesame Street, Saved by the Bell, and horror movies. I knew how to speak English, my ABCs, and count all before entering kindergarten thanks to TV. Sometimes I feel like I learn more from TV than my parents or school. TV just made learning more interesting most of the time, like on Discovery Channel or a Science Channel. I never understood why my parents let us watch horror movies. My mom hates them, but never stopped us from watching them. Also, I never understood why I liked being scared so much. Maybe it was because I would forget everything else. TV has always been a way to block out the world. TV is always there, except for Sundays, when there's almost nothing to watch. It was always school and then home. Never really hung out with my school friends, just TV and virtual friends. The next picture is of the NES, and the caption is, Escape to Another World. I used to play a lot of video games. Some of my first memories are playing Super Mario Bros. on the NES and being terrible, constantly dying on the underground levels. It started as a hobby, playing every once in a while. Then it became an escape from bullies, parents fighting all the time. By the time we got to SN SNES, it was an addiction. No more waking up early mornings to watch cartoons. Now Saturdays were for Mario, Donkey Kong, and Mega Man. This is where I lived in a virtual world. My neighborhood was the Mushroom Kingdom, Dreamland, and wherever else the games took place. I could be the hero and not fear anything because you could always start over, reset the game. You get so invested in trying to get all the secrets, highest scores, or fastest clear time. Never wanting, to, never wanting the adventure to end, you would start over again on a harder difficulty if one was available or just get a new game. You want to be the character and live in their world because the real world sucks. People suck. The next picture is a ditch, river, I'm not sure. And the caption is, why is there always a mattress there? I didn't really care about my neighborhood. For example, the picture above, don't know if that's a river or what, that, or what just that everyone in school called it the ditch. Uh, until I started volunteering at the library, meeting all the people that lived around here, I never really cared about the outside world. Hating the world makes you so blind to all the good some people are trying to do. The next picture is a picture of the New Hope Library, and the, title, or the caption is A New Beginning. New Hope Learning Center is where I started volunteering a year ago. I only went there once as a kid to get info for an essay I was writing in elementary school about meerkats, and I only lived like seven minutes away from walking distance. I never intended on getting a job at the library. I never intended on volunteering there for almost a year. It was the closest I felt like I fit in and, along, uh, and liked being there. When I started volunteering at Central, it was the same cool atmosphere, more chaotic but still fun. I never realized how much people rely on the library and Jerome as a place to help their kids learn with tutors, escape their lives, and just hang out. It makes me want to be a better person, learn more, go back to school so I can help make a difference. Guess this is my new uh, neighborhood, and I'm fine with that.